Hey guys, Dr. Josh Jagoda here, and I'm here to talk about the spinal twist. Yeah, you're talking about the people who do this and this all the time in order to crack their back when they're sitting at a desk, when they're having tight lower back, or when they're just trying to move. So we're gonna talk about it because it's, I see it all the time in people who work and who are like, hey, I'm really tight, and they wanna get a release in their lower back or some relief. And we're used to some of the spinal twists where we kind of lay down and we kind of do this type of stuff, and that's great, and that's actually a great way to get a lot of relief and a release, and I'm not talking about trying to crack your back, I'm just saying that if it happens, it happens, great, but we're talking about the proper way to do it today. When we see people at a desk or something like that, we're gonna see them here, and then what we're gonna see them do is they're gonna hunch forward and then twist their spine and then crack. And look at my posture, it's broken down, it's not in a good posture, and what we're doing is we're really compressing the forces through our disc down and then rotating, which can have some negative implications in the future. So what we wanna do instead of doing this terrible posture going one way or the other way, we wanna have a good elongated spine. So the first thing we're gonna do is, you guessed it, right? Not have terrible posture. So sit up nice and tall, tuck your rib cage down, not up like this, tuck it down, engage your core a little bit and elongate the spine. So figure or pretend like somebody's pulling you up by the hair, just like that, right? And now you have a nice elongated spine. From this position, you can grab over and then rotate and then come and hold. Do the same thing, elongate your spine, engage your core, and then move over to the side. The reason you want to elongate instead of compress or have para, bad posture, well one, bad posture is not good for you, everybody knows that, but two, we're gauging our core, and three, finally, probably one of the more important things is that you're decompressing and elongating the spine. You don't want to compress and pinch off nerves within the spine. So what you're doing here is elongating spine and then rotating. You're probably gonna find that with this elongation, you may not be able to rotate as far, but you're gonna be at least doing it correctly and really benefiting from this rotation. So again, make sure you stand up tall, elongate the spine before you do your rotation or your spinal twist, even if you're doing it on the seated posture or the yoga kind of thing where you're kind of up here. A lot of people will do this, try to stay nice and tall, and then look around, all right? This is a great way to add some flexibility, mobility into the spine. You may get a release or a crack or a pop or an adjustment out of it. That's okay, just make sure you're not compressing yourself and make sure you're not hurting yourself. All right, guys, I'm Dr. Josh Jagoda. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next week, bye.